What's up guys? So I know a lot of you have seen my most recent or not my most recent, but one of my last videos about the evil portal and I've been getting a lot of concerns that it is not working. So in this video I am going to be showing you how to fix this error. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna head over to Big Bro Dude Six One One Nine's Evil Portal Discord. Or not Discord, GitHub. Again, this will all be linked in the description, just like I do to everything. So, you're going to head over to this little button that says Code. You're going to tap that, and then hit the button that says Download Zip. And then you can download it to your preferable folder. This is where I'm going to save mine. You can save yours anywhere, really. So, now that mine is getting saved, I'm just going to wait. Okay, now that it's open, we can open it. I'm going to do it in File Explorer. We're going to just hit the Just Once button just because that's easiest. Uh, we are going to now hit extract all because we want to extract all and then hit extract. I just give it a second and it just completed. So now we have this and we are going to be mainly focusing on this one, portals. And the first thing you're going to want to do is look for any, so just go into your flipper zero, go into the, um, whatever it says, SD card, storage, whatever that little icon is. And then you're going to head over to apps. And then you're going to want to head over to GPU or Wi-Fi, wherever I told you to put it last time. I don't quite remember. Um, ESP. And then anything in here that says evil portal, you're just going to want to delete that. So I've already done that. but So that's why I'm not going to do it again. But anyway, once you've got that done, you're going to want to head over to Momentum, Dis or Momentum Firmware's website and then you're gonna hit connect once you hit connect oh first you gotta hit um flipper and you're gonna want to close out of this program so you're gonna hit the x if you have it opened and then you're gonna hit connect and it's gonna say waiting for flipper now my flipper just takes a little bit i don't really know why it's a little slow sometimes you might have to refresh it because it might still think it's connected to the um App. Oh, there we go. You also might get a little pop-up here that says, like, which serial port do you want to connect to. You're always going to tap your flipper's name. And then right here, you're going to get to the latest version of Momentum. So then you're going to hit the flash button. Now, I've already done this, so I'm just going to X out of this. But one is, once that is done, you're just going to head back over to Flipper. So once you've got Flipper, you're going to want to pull out your Wi-Fi dev board and go into SD card. Then once you're in SD card, you're going to want to go to apps data. You're going to want to go into evil portal and then you're going to want to go into HTML. There's not many here, so we're going to head back over to ah, why is that open? And head back over to files and then where we had all these portals right here, you're just going to want to hit control A, it selects everything. Control and, and not control. Then you're gonna open back up your flipper and then just take all those 27 files and drag it in here. It's gonna take only a couple seconds and BAM! You have all of those HTML files. So you could basically essentially prank people with all of these different files. So that is really cool. And next step we are going to do is you're gonna wanna open up your flipper. I'm just still using QFlipper for demonstrational purposes. Take out your Wi-Fi dev board and plug it in. Okay, so now that you're on your flipper, you're going to hit home, you're going to hit apps, and then you're going to go down to GPIO. Tap that fancy looking button and then go over to ESP. Once you go to ESP, you're going to scroll down into evil portal. This evil portal should work. If not, I'm going to have to make yet another tutorial. But this one should work. So now I have it. And you can see that everything is working. And we're just going to want to check to make sure that we have our select HTMLs. I do. If you don't, you did something wrong. But anyway, we're going to go back out of that. And we are going to look for our ESP Flasher. So right here, ESP Flasher. You want to do or not quick flash yet. You're going to scroll down until you hit the enter bootloader button. You're going to press that and then it's going to say waiting for download. Go back. Then you're going to go up. 
quick flash. You're going to tap that. Then you're going to tap whatever board you have. You are most likely going to have the Flipper Wi-Fi dev board. You're going to tap that. Then you're going to hit Marauder has Evil Portal. And then it's just going to connect. This may take a while. Most likely won't because it's quick flash. But in a couple seconds, it should be done. Okay, and now that it is done, you might just see... Where is it? Oh, there it is. SD card not supported. That doesn't mean anything. Older dev boards used to have SD cards, but that should not apply to any of you. So then we're going to go... Oh, not back. We're going to go hit the back button. Hit the back button again. Hit the back button again. Hit the back button again. That's a lot of back buttons. Uh, go to Evil Portal. Tap that. And then you are going to go down to Select HTML. You're going to tap this. And then you're just going to look through. So in this case, I'm going to do Apple. And then I'm just going to select the AP name. You could really make this anything just for demonstrational purposes. It's going to say Evil Portal. On my phone, it's just going to show up as something different just because I'm going to reuse a video clip. But then you're just going to hit this little Enter button. You're going to tap that. Oh, that is not the enter button. Whatever, it's evil P. It does not matter to me. This is just the name, though. So then you're going to hit save. You're going to go back up here and then hit start portal. So now it should be starting, and your dev board should display a little blue light. And now we should be able to hop over to our phone and check our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to show you that right now. So now you can see if I were to connect, I would get this saying my username and my password. So this can be used to steal credentials, so do not do this at any cost to steal people's credentials unless you have their permission, but don't use this to steal people's credentials. So this is just mind-blowing, this phishing technique. It just crazy okay now that we're back everything pretty much should be working if not I have a discord guys I really hope this worked uh, thank you for watching and if you want to ever stop the portal which I'm sure you do just hit back and then just hit stop portal it's pretty self-explanatory but basically just hit stop portal and this thing is just so 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 cool because you could prank everyone you could prank these people with anything select html you could do alaska airlines amazon american airline apple at&t it just goes on and on and on and on so cool it just is truly is amazing i think that is it guys make sure to join the discord and stay tuned for more videos have a nice day and make sure to like and subscribe